Good morning. Today is April 6, 2020, Monday. Today we are just going to discuss the vocabulary words and um, you have about eight questions to answer for the vocabulary words, okay? So I just want to focus on this today because there you have about 12 words for today. And I want you guys to remember them and focus on them. Okay, so these are the vocabulary words. I want us to say it first, and then I will show you guys the meaning or tell you the definition. The first word is portrait. Portrait. Can you say that? Say it one more time, please. Excellent. The next word is intrigue. Intrigue. Can you repeat that? Repeat it again, please. Very good. The next word is viewer. Viewer. Can you say that one more time, please? Say it again, please. Good job. The next one is hang. Hang. Can you say that word? Say it one more time, please. Awesome. The next word is distraught. Distraught. Can you say that word? Say it again, please. Excellent. The next word is lead on a case. Lead on a case. Say that again. Repeat it again, please. Very good. The next word is arrest. Arrest. Say that one more time. Say it again, please. Awesome. The next word is critic. Critic. Say that one more time. Say it again, please. Very good. Okay, so critic is a noun and then critical is the same word, but it's an adjective, okay? The next one is poet. Poet. Can you repeat that word, please? Say it one more time. Good job. The next word is custody. Custody. Say that one more time, please. Say it again. Awesome. And the last word is art dealer. Art dealer. Can you say that one more time? Can you say it again? Excellent. Okay, so let me explain the meaning for some of them. Okay, and the others, I'll show you pictures. So this is a painting, drawing, or photograph of a person or group of people. Okay, because you can have a portrait of many people. For example, this is a portrait of the royal family. Uh, not everyone is here, but just some of the royal family. So this is Queen Elizabeth. This is her son, Charles. And then Charles um, have two sons, but only one is here, which is Prince William. And then Prince William actually has three children, but only one of them is here. Okay, so that's uh, Prince William's child. Okay, this woman, Queen El Elizabeth, when she was younger, she had a self-portrait. So this uh, was her self-portrait. Self-portrait is just a portrait of yourself, okay? Hang is this. So portraits can be hang in a gallery or museum, okay? So that means they're just like stuck to the wall, okay? They are hanging on the wall. Okay, arrest. If you do something bad, you are arrested by the police officer, okay? So let's go to some of the other words and let me explain them to you. Intrigue is you want to know about something because you are interested in it, okay? For example, you're intrigued about traveling because you like to know more about other countries, okay? Um, or you are intrigued about people from a different culture, or you are intrigued about different religions. Some people can be intrigued about cars because they want to know how it works, okay? Viewer is basically a, 
a person who sees or looks at something. So when you are watching TV, you are a viewer of a TV show or a viewer of a movie that is being shown on TV. You can also be a viewer of art. You go to museums and you look at art, okay? Hang, we already talked about that. Distraught basically means um, a person is very upset because he or she can't think or act normally, okay? So, for example, let's say uh, someone died. That person is very distraught, okay? Or maybe for teenagers, for you guys, if you break up with your boyfriend or girlfriend, you are very distraught, okay? You can't, like, you know, f um, have a daily routine or feel like doing anything because you are so distraught. Lead in a case is basically um, information that... Um, helps the police officers or detectives um, get the suspect okay so, so suspect is the person they think committed the crime okay so information could be anything like maybe a person on the street saw the sus suspect that could be a lead in a case if the if they saw like hair in the crime scene that could also be a lead on a case because they can find the dna of that hair okay um, critic is basically a person who uh, gives an opinion about a book, movie, you can have a restaurant critic or art, okay? So basically, these people would say, for example, an art critic would say, this painting is so amazing because, or maybe this person would say, oh, this painting is so dreadful or bad because, okay? So they give their opinion about what they think about something. Poet is basically a person who writes um, a poem or poems because you can write more than one. So, some famous um, poets um, in Central America, you have Manlio Arguera, Juan Jose Cañas, Eunice Odio, Jose Coronel Orte Ortecho, Sal Salomon Ibarra Mayor, maybe you guys have heard of these people, or like your parents or grandparents have maybe read some of their poems to you. Um, uh, for the um, Western world, okay, um, Shakespeare is an English poet. He's very famous. If you've heard of Romeo and Juliet, he he wrote that. So he ha he has many famous works and a lot of poems as well. Okay, so this is uh, William Shakespeare. Okay, so um, custody is the next word it means kept in kept in a jail or prison okay so jail is basically like if you did something bad but they don't know if you did it or not they put you in jail for a day or a few days just to uh, find out if you're guilty or not prison is basically they find out you're guilty and then you stay in prison for a few weeks or a few years, okay? So they would say, okay, you are kept in custody, okay? That's how you can say the word. Art dealer is basically a person who buys and sells artworks, okay? So most art dealers have money because some art um, or paintings would cost a lot of money, okay? So let's see the questions that you guys have to answer for today. Let's move it so that you can see all the questions. Um, the first one is, would you ever do a self-portrait? Why or why not? Remember, a self-portrait is a portrait by yourself, okay? Is that something you would want to do? The next one is, what is something about life that makes you feel intrigued? So you can talk about celebrity, sports, religion, politics, whatever it is that you are intrigued about. And why are you intrigued by this topic or event? I'm talking about event because you can talk about like space or, um, you know, sorry, not space. I was talking about solar eclipse, okay? Solar eclipse is an event, okay? So... Maybe you're interest, intrigued in that and you want to talk about that. So that's what you can put for this question. 
Number three, what makes you distraught? What do you do when you feel distraught? Okay, so that's number three. Number four, if you were arrested, what would be the first thing that you would do to get yourself out of it? Okay, so of course, when you are arrested, you are not happy and you don't want to be there. So what do you do so that you can leave jail? Okay, number five, how do you think detectives get a lead on a case? How do you think detectives get a lead on a case? So like, how do detectives um, find suspects? What do they do? Okay. Number six, what do people say to you that's critical that you think is not right? Okay, what do people say to you that's critical that you think is not right? So, for example, let's say that um, there is a person who is born from a rich family. A lot of people may be, be critical about that person because they will say, oh, that person, you know, is going to be lazy because he or she doesn't have to work because... Um, that person is very rich, right? But there are some people who are rich who work are who are hardworking. Okay, so um, the comment of "Oh, that person is lazy" is very critical. Okay, okay. Who is your favorite poet? Who is your favorite poet? Why is this poet your favorite? So um, you can talk about some poets from your country. Okay that you like and why do you like this person um, next one is what skill should an art dealer have what skill should an art dealer have basically uh, what should an art dealer be good at to be successful okay so that's what that question uh, means so you have until 5 p.m. to send me the answers and uh, we will do the reading tomorrow so I will talk to you guys until then. Have a good one.